What's up, you guys? It's me, Kiki Solano, welcoming you to BYUSN right now. Guys, I'm kind of hungry. Maybe I should order Chipotle and get the Zach Wilson Bowl, because that's a thing. As is AVCA Awards and the Bachelor Boys having some competition. That's right. I said it. Let's go. Remember how I practically begged for BYU baseball to bounce back and get a dub over Dixie State? Well, the guys pulled through getting a 3-2 dub over the Trailblazers at home. It was a good night for our guys to get back on track, and thanks to this homer, it was a good night for Mitch McIntyre. 1-2, McIntyre waits on the curveball and hammers a ball into right field. Out of here! But Mitch wasn't the only guy having a great time in the dub. Just look at this photo dump that BYU Baseball posted. A whole lot of smiles, and rightfully so. But this isn't the first time we've seen our guys pose big for the cameras. You guys seen these pics? Look, I know we have the Bachelor Boys for football this year. They're all about the groupie pics. But now baseball has proven they can pose for the camera just as well. Which means we should probably come up with a nickname for them too. Thinking, um, thinking. It's not, it's not happening. Um, <laughs> Gotta think more about that. In the meantime, let's move on because BYU women's volleyball has some All-American awards for us to get into. Middle blocker Kennedy Eschenberg is named to the ABCA All-American third team after tallying 135 kills and 82 blocks. Which, if you didn't know, that's a lot of blocks. In fact, it's so many that she ranks six in blocks per set in NCAA Division I women's volleyball. Whitney Bauer and Taylin Ballard Nixon also getting themselves AVCA All-American recognition, earning themselves honorable mention. Reminder that Whitney Bauer was WCC setter and overall player of the year, and Taylin Ballard Nixon led the team in both kills and points per set. Listen. I could keep telling you all these stats, but I think it's just better if you see the action for yourself. These girls are dominant. Speaking of the word dominant, how about this post from Pro Football Focus noting Zach Wilson's dominant 2020 campaign. But Zach isn't our only kook getting praise from PFF. In fact, eight of our kooks have made the final Pro Football Focus top 300 big board. That's more players than anyone in the West. What can I say? Best in the West, y'all. But let's get back to Zach Wilson because let's be real. It's not like we hear enough about him. Ha ha. No, no, seriously. I know you guys want to hear about Zach Wilson because there's a lot to update. And well, honestly, good to be Zach Wilson right now. Back streets, back, all right. First of all, the guy's got his very own bowl at Chipotle. Chipotle is my life. Okay. But, you know, that's not the only group he's joining. I mean, just look at this golf crew. That is amazing. Tell the guys to say hi, Zach. I'm just kidding. Totally kidding. I'm not really kidding. Please tell them I say hi. Oh, and apparently Chargers quarterback Justin Herbert is adding to his bird scooter gang. Zach is also a part of that now. And if there's any group to be a part of, why not be a part of the biggest and the best brand out there? That's right, our guy signed with Nike. Zach Wilson's just living our dreams. I mean, I imagine he gets his Chipotle Bowl for free. He's besties with the legendary BYU quarterbacks and Justin Herbert. Oh, and he signed with Nike. I mean, come on. I don't know how you can have any bigger day than that. Unless your name is Tristan Hodge, because he's really showing us up. He had a Sports Nation interview this morning. It's meeting with NFL scouts today. Oh, and it's his wedding day. Casual. That's a busy day. Busy day today. Big congrats to Tristan. Congrats to all our BYU students who are finishing finals today. You got it. Can't say I missed that in any way. Thanks for hanging out with me on BYUSN right now. You know where to go follow us. 
I gotta get some Chipotle. Can we do that? Chipotle run, it's on me.